था What's up YouTube, Chris here with Mod We Trust 360 and as promised I am going to be bringing you a tutorial on this fine Saturday morning. So um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you all how to dual boot your computer using Linux. Um, you can either use a USB stick which is what I'm going to show you how to use in this tutorial because it's most readily available by everybody or you can dual partition your hard drive and you can do it that way. Um, I'm not going to do a tutorial on that yet. I may in the future. It's according to how, how good of a response I get on this video. Um, so before we get started you're going to need at least a 2 gigabyte uh, you could probably roll with a one gigabyte um, USB stick. Two is really recommended because that's about the lowest you're gonna you're gonna need. Um, you're also gonna need to download the Nopix ISO. Um, Nopix is a version of Linux that I have been using, and I personally think it's the best version. And you're also gonna need Universal USB installer. Um, so all those download links will be in the description and we'll go ahead and get started with this video. So once you have it downloaded and you have it on your desktop, whatever you need, go ahead and plug your USB stick in and start up Universal USB Installer. Alright, so just double click here and then click yes because it's going to run it as an administrator. Just go ahead and click I agree and then you're going to select a Linux distribution from the drop down. So just click here and since we are using Nopix, you're just going to scroll down until you see Nopix version 6 CD. That's the version you're going to download from the description. Alright, now you're going to need to browse for that version. So as you can see, I do have it on my desktop over here. So I'm just going to go desktop, scroll down, double click here, double click into this folder, and choose this ISO file. Now what you're going to do, you're going to need to select the USB flash drive that you were using. Now please be sure you use the correct one because this could really mess your computer up if you're not you know using the correct one so as you can see here pin drive that's the one I'm using it is H so just go ahead and close that out select in the drop down and then click H now what you want to do you need to check this box so it will format it and it will uh, change the uh, formatting so you it'll actually be bootable through your BIOS menu so just go ahead and click create and then click yes and then it's going to go through this whole process. Now, something you all need to keep in mind. If you have a more up-to-date computer, more than likely, it's going to read your USB stick when you go to the boot menu and you'll be able to boot from there. If you have older computers, you may have to program that into the BIOS. Now, that that can get tedious and difficult, um, but, you know, it, I mean, you can work through it in all honesty. There's tutorials online. I may even do a tutorial to help you all out um, if people start asking for it because you know not everybody you know knows how to do it so what you're going to do you're just going to wait for all this uh, what it's going to do it's going to break down the ISO extract it all to your USB stick and set it up so it will be bootable now once this is done you're essentially done I mean that's all you have to do all you got to do is plug it in as soon as your computer boots up um, usually in the bottom right corner you'll see where it says like press F8, F10, F12 something of that nature to open the boot menu just go ahead and open the boot menu and see if you have you know univert like a external hard drive or your USB stick there in that list if you do just click that Nopix will boot up and you're ready to go so you guys hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, please rate comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace